Howdy guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In this part, we'll be coming straight to the chase. We're on outset, I'm up here, the wind is going west. Let's jump off with the Deku Leaf, because we need to head over here to get our next Triforce chart. And this is going to take a while, that's why I'm just trying to rush it so fast. That's why I'm already warped over here and have everything set up. This is really a lot easier if you have double magic, so... Gotta suggest double magic. I'm not even sure if you can make this without double magic. That looks a little bit past half. But anyways, if we warp over to here, or fly over to here where there's this giant stone, we can lift it out of the way, and then there's this, uh, this little hole here. So we're gonna fall down here, and this is actually where the savage... The savage? The savage maze lies, or the savage labyrinth, whatever it's called. I think it might be called the savage maze. Maze. And as we can read here, Savage Labyrinth. Okay, so it is a Savage Labyrinth. Deep in the never-ending darkness, the way to the Golden Shard you seek awaits. So we need to go down ten holes or ten floors in order to get the Triforce Shard. And if you go down around a hundred, much like the Pit of a Hundred Trials, then uh, you can get a piece of heart, I believe. So, it's much like the Cave War deals from Twilight Princess. Which I still need to do in the Let's Play. I'll do that probably after this Let's Play is done. Although I know what my next Let's Play is, and I've been trying to get some uh, co-commentators scheduled for that. Since uh, I actually wanted them on there. But uh, besides the point, you just have to defeat all the enemies on the floor. If you've ever played Paper Mario, Pit of 100 Trials from TTYD is very similar to this. Although, if I have any luck, much like with my uh, Pit of 100 Trials playthrough during my TTYD Let's Play, everything will go horribly, horribly wrong, and I'll have to redo this tons of times. Oh, the bad memories of the Pit of 100 Trials. Ugh. Tons of BS happened down there. Also, enemies will never, ever drop health while you're down here, so... If you're planning to go all the way down to the bottom, I suggest one, having all 20 hearts, and two, having at least a fairy with you, and then maybe a blue and a red potion. This is where you would actually need potions. Actually, you would probably only have 19 hearts, because there's a piece of heart at the bottom of this, I'm pretty sure, so. But according to the internet, we only need to go down 10 floors, although I could have swore we need to go down 20. But I'm not sure. And of course, the floors get gradually harder, but these first ones aren't too bad. I mean, so far we've only got mini blooms, bokeh blooms, and cheese. Oh, and keys, but everything's taken down in one hit, so. These aren't too bad. Although, we're probably gonna get onto, like, moblin soon. Ah, that's where it starts getting a little bit tricky, I suppose. Alright, well, these guys can be a little bit tricky in numbers. I guess, in groups. Just gotta make sure to take out every single one of them. Uh, like, individually, and then head on to the next one. That way, I'm perfectly safe. Makes it a lot easier. Minus one. Alright. These guys aren't too bad. And of course, make sure you don't run into the fire, either, because... Oh, I've done that tons of times where I'm just fighting something, don't realize there's fire, then back up into it. Oh, I can kill these guys with the boomerang, that's pretty sweet, alright. Whoa, mini blends too. Alright, well. Mini blends aren't too hard. Wow, that was a really fast floor. Okay, I can be happy with that. Heading further downward. I'm pretty sure you get a treasure every ten floors in this place, much like the Pit of 100 Trials. I'm gonna draw so many parallels to the Pit of 100 Trials, I just love PG Lightning. Absolutely love it. I don't know if I made that apparent enough during the Let's Play, but I absolutely love that game. Probably my favorite game of all time. And I kind of wish I could redo it, because I realized how crappy my mic was during that, uh, that Let's Play. In fact, I'd, I'd like to redo a lot of the games I've already done, but uh, I don't know. I don't feel like having the same Let's Play on a channel twice is really that great of a thing, even though I'm kind of a hypocrite because I've done Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's Nightmare and Dreamland, which are just the same game with different graphics. Uh, 
I don't know who knows, maybe someday I'll return to TTYD. And that is my favorite game of all time, so I'd be more likely to redo that than anything else. Not to mention, that was probably my favorite Let's Play to do. I don't know. Man, this hole is bringing a lot of reflecting. I don't like that. Don't make me have the feels, man. Come on. Alright, yeah. We're finally on the moblins. In the chain of enemies. In the enemy power tree. On the cladogram of, of uh, Zelda enemies. Anyways, moblins aren't too hard still. I believe we're on floor number 10, so... Should be quite a few rupees down here. Right, so we, oh, wow, they actually give you hearts. That's nice. I mean, not a lot, but this is enough to replenish all my health. So, uh, there is nothing here. But we do have the option to leave. Eh, I'm not going to leave, though. Down we go. Plunge further into the abyss. You know, maybe I should have gotten the, uh, those extra two pieces of heart before I went down here. That extra heart may have actually helped us. I mean, granted, I did this with one less heart in my first run through, or maybe two less hearts in my first run through of this game. And I had, yeah, barely any trouble. But I mean, if I'm gonna keep screwing up on these pea hats like this, my god. I suppose they branched these off based on the dungeons, because I mean, the first one had enemies that were in Dragon Roost Cavern, and these are obviously enemies that were in Forest Haven, the Forbidden Woods, and obviously the floor is green, so we can assume this is based off the Forbidden Woods. Although, then again, the Forbidden Woods was still pretty freaking easy, so... Although I'm pretty sure we actually have to face some Dark Nuts somewhere along the way onto the Triforce chart, so... Who knows? I sure don't. Oh wow, we can take care of these guys really easy. I didn't realize that. Never realized you could just take these guys out straight with the boomerang. Well, you know, I can appreciate that. Whatever makes them go down quicker. Whatever makes this hole just a bit quicker so that we can hopefully accomplish something else in this part because there's something else I wanted to try to do just quickly in this part. Actually, now that I think about it, it was it would probably take a long time to do it. Because it's another maze. This one's called the Savage Labyrinth. But it's not really a labyrinth. But the, the other one... Th there's this other thing that's nearby that actually is a labyrinth. And, uh... That's not called the Sav La Savage Labyrinth. The end of that. It's a... Tongue Twister somehow. I don't know there some of these guys, but <laughs> they go down ridiculously easy with the Master Sword, so they're all dead. Pretty simple. Probably only have around like five, maybe six more floors. These P-Hats are really the only nuisance that I can think of that would be in Force Haven. It'd be kind of cool if there was a boss at the end of this pit, but pretty sure there isn't. Never been to the bottom of this, but yeah, maybe one of these days. Then again, Wind Waker is kind of one of the harder Zelda games to get all the pieces of heart in. And, you know, I'd actually like to have most of the pieces of heart before tackling this ever. But, I mean, this isn't too hard. In order to get the Triforce chart, they're probably not going to go through too much. Anything too incredibly hard. But I suppose if you want to be a complete completionist, eh, you'd probably have to stock up before coming here. Alright, I think that should be the end. Oh no, wait, there's one more pot over here with a boat room. Alright, that should be the end of the floor now. Really, at this point in the game, this is kind of just tedious, taking care of really easy enemies. I probably could have cut all this out, but I want to show it off since it's something that we'll, we'll never come back to. Yeah, it's a little bit unique. Although I'm contemplating cutting now, because we 
pretty much seen all the enemies we need to. If this la this this isn't the last floor, bleh, stumbled over my words there. If this isn't the last floor, then I think I might end up just cutting to you when we get to the Triforce chart. Because I mean, obviously we've seen all these enemies, so. I'm hoping this is actually the last floor, but I don't really know. Ah, get off me, guys. Alright, let's see. Is this the last floor? Okay. Well, we've reached this, and there's no treasure here. Alright, well, I guess this isn't the last floor. On that note, I'll meet you guys when we get to the Triforce chart. That way we can actually save some time and you don't have to see me fighting old enemies. See you guys when we get there. Okay, well, I think we've finally actually reached where we need to be, so that's a good thing. Didn't take me that long, an extra five minutes it took me to get down these three extra holes, but this should be the Triforce chart. I'm just going to pick up all this money first, just to make sure, uh, and let's play ourselves the Winds of Requiem, and... Hopefully this is the Triforce chart. And I think we can actually head down further if we really wanted to. But, eh, I don't really want to. I want to get something else done, hopefully, in this episode. Although it's not seeming like that's going to happen because we don't have a lot of time. So, yes, we got the Triforce chart. So we can get out of here. Alright, and they'll throw this beam of light at us, including this one. And, uh... If you actually want to keep going onwards, you can take out your shield and point it at this, and we can keep going if we absolutely want to, but, eh, no thank you. Let's get out of here. And with that, let's just leave the Savage Labyrinth. Oh, well I could get those fairies in a bottle, but... Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's worth it that much. Alright, let's head out of here. And our boat should be somewhere over there, so... I'm just gonna roll down. Picked up a lot of money down there, though, which is certainly nice. Went up a whole 600 rupees, so... That's something to celebrate, I suppose. Alright, well, I'm gonna set the wind direction to... Northwest. And I'm gonna meet you guys on the island that we need to go to. It's one square northwest of here. And, uh, there is a little chart that we need up there. It's not a Triforce chart, but it is a chart that we need to get a Triforce chart, so... Oh, it's another chart that finds a chart, so... Anyways, I'll meet you guys up there. Okay, well, here we are at Diamond Step Island right here. And, uh, I'm just gonna use the hook shot to get up here, as we did with the island a while ago. And uh, we actually do need to come here and get this chart in order to get a different Triforce chart, so. I just figured since we're close to outset, we might as well get it. And I kind of wanted to take care of it in one single episode, just get over there and get this as well. I don't really need Rupee, so I don't know why I'm going for this. In fact, this is probably going to be a long episode if I don't stop stalling here. My god. Alright, well anyways, just need to keep hookshotting our way up here, and, uh, we're good. But, we do have a little maze here, and I remember it being extremely confusing. And it's a warp pot maze. There is no strategy here whatsoever other than just go in random pots and hope you're going the right way. It's a game of memory. You kind of got to get lucky. And that sucks. Oh, also, there's tons of these guys. I completely forgot. There's tons of floor masters. I forgot about that. I'm assuming this is the pot. This is the pot we need. That one over there. So I'm gonna go light this one up. Hope that it's the right one. And we'll just jump in here and check it out. I was supposing... Wow, that was far more pretentious sounding than it should have been. Uh, um, I'm supposing that... Uh, if you've played this game enough, you know the exact order, but this is my second full playthrough, so I'm like a lost little puppy with this. 
Kind of just shooting around in the dark here. Oh my god, it responds. Get out of here. I really don't want to have to go to the beginning of this thing. This really confusing maze. Alright, well. I'll light that one off. And if it's the right one, well then that one will stay covered. And I'll always remember that this one's the right one. Although it's not looking like it. Alright, well. It's worth a shot. I think I might have to cue the Benny Hills music soon. Every single time that there's some sort of wild goose chase. Alright, well. If I keep screwing up on this, I will. Oh, no! Alright, well, whatever. Let's speed this up. I'm assuming you guys don't want to watch me fail over and over again. See you when we get to the Triforce chart. We got the ghost ship chart! My god, that took quite a while. Like, ten minutes. Ah, oh, man. This is a really long recording. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. In the next part, we will get some more Triforce charts. And hopefully finish it up pretty soon. See you guys then.